Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the tilt and shift parameters in the Corona Render camera. The vertical and horizontal tilt parameters allows you to tilt the camera to correct the perspective. This is really useful in scenes where the camera is not aligned with the target. In this example, we have a low camera angle. We can see how this is creating a tilting in the vertical lines of the image. To fetch it, we're going to select the camera and in the camera settings, scroll down to the tilt and shift section. We're going to activate the automatic vertical shift option. This instructs Corona to auto align all the vertical lines in the image. As soon as we do this, we can see how the vertical lines are now straight, enhancing the overall appeal of the image. Unless you aim for a specific stylized look, it's probably a good idea to keep this option on. Okay, now, what if we want to manually control this? Below the automatic feature, you will find options to manually adjust the vertical and horizontal tilt. For example, if we set the vertical tilt to 0.85, we can get an effect like some of Tim Burton's movies. And by changing the horizontal tilt to 0.60, we can see how the image is skewed vertically. Tweaking these parameters not only corrects the perspective, but also offers the opportunity for artistic cameras. Okay, for the next option, let's reset the parameters to zero and turn on the automatic vertical shift. Lastly, there is the shift option. It allows you to move the camera view vertically or horizontally, all these without actually moving the camera or the target. It is a great option when you want to keep the same camera angle, but you want to adjust it to include other elements. Using the tilt and shift parameters in the Corona Render Camera can improve your rendering and help you achieve precise and artistic visuals. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.